what's up guys so another question that we want answered on this channel um is the covert narcissist jealous and the answer to that is yes very very jealous covert narcissists are envious of other people and what other people have they get jealous of other people's deep, meaningful relationships because they don't have one. They see that and it's one thing to see somebody in a deep relationship that you wish you could have. But these people are literally envious of the person that is in it and has hatred towards certain individuals that have those relationships. And that does not make any sense because... You're not doing yourself any good by hating on somebody else for something that somebody else has. They most likely, rightfully, did the right thing to get themselves in that position. It makes no sense. I don't understand, I don't understand hate. These individuals just... It's almost like they do that because they know they can't have it. When you know you can't have something, it's like it, it'll make you have intense hate towards people that can get something that you can't get. But the truth is you have to have confidence within yourself. No matter what. Even in your darkest times, even in your most horrific, most vulnerable times in your life, you have to understand that. You are still deserving of everything and you are capable of getting whatever you want. You have to put in the work. You have to do certain things for certain things to line up. And the way I see it, some, someone could have a shiny new vehicle right off the lot, driving it right off the lot, zero kilometers might be 10 on it. I'm not envious or jealous of that because that is very possible for me to get that as well. Very possible. It's like anything else. I just use that as an example. You could, you could see that in any other... You could see that in a relationship. Somebody could have somebody that you want. There's... There's almost 8 billion people on this planet now. There's over 7 billion. Like, I've dated a lot of girls in my life. Been with a lot of girls in my life. And every single one of these individuals has something good about them. Even the worst of the worst. Like, we're just being real here. Like, obviously, if you were with somebody before, you've seen something in them. That was good. But the truth is when it comes to narcissists. Once you see them for what they really are. It really erases. The good. It does. But like I said. You've seen something. In somebody that was good. So like. You know. There's, there's plenty other women out there. There's plenty of other men out there and once upon a time when you were maybe young you didn't have anybody like that in your life and all of a sudden somebody popped up and then you did and you might have lost them guess what somebody else is gonna pop up again that might not work somebody else is gonna pop up again that might not work somebody else is gonna pop up again and it might work and somebody might pop up and it might not work and nothing might not ever work. And if it doesn't, it's not supposed to. You can't stress what isn't meant to be. You have to be comfortable with yourself and accept life for what it is and just continue to do your best. Continue to stay positive. Continue to stay busy and do things that you like to do. Do things that is good for you and your soul. Do things 
that give you peace, that give you comfort. Um, get busier in the run of the day. Set small goals. Work your way up. You want to see improvement in yourself. In some way, shape, or form. The last thing anybody wants to do is be so down on themselves that they start to get jealous of what other people have and start to get envious of other individuals. That is, on my dark, in, in, in my most brutalest days, I've never had those feelings ever. I was never envious or jealous because of what somebody else had or hated somebody because they had something that I didn't in the current moment. Never. Because that's a part of knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing that amazing things are going to come. You know what I mean? That's It's confidence. I had confidence in my lowest days. That's how you have to be. Even whenever you have a bad day, you should still be confident. That's how I am. You can never lose sight of the best version of who you know you are. You can't lose sight of that. You have to know who you are and continue to add on to who you are. That's a part of growth and magical things can and will happen when you do this. That's why it's never good to sit back and see what somebody else has and you just wish you could have this right now or feel what they're feeling from what they have. You cannot do this. You should actually wish this person well. You should actually see this person and just be happy for them. Like regardless of who they are, just just do it. It's not going to do you any good by, like I said, being bitter or jealous or envious of a person that has something that you don't. And this is usually what covert narcissists do. Um, some of these people are so insecure and needy and jealous and envious that, and I've, I've been in a situation with a female like this. She literally had a boyfriend. And she started to talk to me and I let this girl know, listen, I don't mess with girls that have boyfriends. And she just kept going on and on and on and on and on. I tried to cut her off like three or four times. Which I did for like days straight. All of a sudden, she messages back. She hits back up out of nowhere. And she just continues to talk and talk and talk. And it got to a point where we just started talking about like... Things that might have happened in my past or like girls and stuff and she she's literally like hinting out that she's literally jealous of girls that I was with and it's ridiculous because she has a boyfriend and she's literally almost feels like she should have ownership over you that you shouldn't be with anybody else or something like this there's crazy ass girls out there that will try to control everybody they don't want there's crazy ass girls out there and there's 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 very crazy men out there as well but there's literally people who could be in a relationship and they feel the need and desire to control everybody else even whenever they're in a relationship that is a huge sign of a covert narcissist, that's a huge sign. This person has no happiness at all within themselves or within their relationship that they have going. None. How can you be happy whenever you're a controlling bitch and you're trying to tell people you have no business telling to not be in this relationship or doing the craziest things? trying to keep people away from each other, trying to control maybe, maybe it was guys that she used to have in her past. Maybe it's her exes. She don't want them to be happy. She don't want these individuals to be with another girl or something like this. Like these are all examples. Um, that's, that's very narcissistic. That's very crazy. 
and that's what these individuals are like and that's that's what I'm trying to explain here um, you can't be like that in any way shape or form you have to be happy for other people you don't have to literally invest happiness in other people but you you have to like be okay with somebody else being happy you can't like I said you don't have to pour like emotion into it or nothing like this just don't be fucking an idiot about it don't be jealous or envious or negative towards somebody else's happiness it just does you no good so um I'm gonna cut this video short I got nothing to, I got blah, blah, blah. I got nothing left to say and I will get to the next video momentarily so this is my take on covert nar on covert narcissists and jealousy they are very jealous very and it, it's more than just relationships too it's a lot of other things and it could be the the craziest things these these are individuals where there are some covert narcissists that will actually kill people. You see crime investigations and stuff like this. I've seen one the other day where an ex-NFL player got a divorce with his wife, which was she, she did fitness modeling and she was a certified per personal trainer. But she was crazy, and he divorced her. She got he got with somebody else, not even right after, a while after the divorce. Then he started living with his new wife. This his ex-wife literally found out where they lived, waited until this guy was gone out of the house, and this girl was home alone. She waited outside her door. Until this girl walked out and she shot her. She shot her dead. This is all because of jealousy. This is all because this girl's envious because this new chick has got her ex husband. What do you think that is? Covert narcissist, psychopath, sociopath. She's not just a cold blooded murderer, which she is too, but she is those things as well. Best believe. That's how crazy these individuals really are. And we'd bet any money there are more narcs and sociopaths out there and psychopaths that would kill people in even smaller incidents if they could get away with it. But most people will not do it because they, they know they're not going to get away with it. And some people are that crazy to go ahead and do it. So, you guys get the point. These individuals are very jealous and envious. And we should all thrive. And we should all pride ourselves on not wanting to be anything like that at all. Nothing like that. Nothing. So, I'm going to cut this video off now. I'm going to do this next video. I'll be back.